Chapter 30 The Word That Came to Jeremiah from the Lord Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Write in a book all the words that I have spoken to you. For behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will restore the fortunes of my people, Israel and Judah, says the Lord, and I will bring them back to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall take possession of it. These are the words that the Lord spoke concerning Israel and Judah. Thus says the Lord, We have heard a cry of panic, of terror, and no peace. Ask now and see, can a man bear a child? Why then do I see every man with his hands on his stomach like a woman in labor? Why has every face turned pale? Alas, that day is so great, there is none like it. It is a time of distress for Jacob, yet he shall be saved out of it. And it shall come to pass in that day, declares the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off your neck, and I will burst your bonds, and foreigners shall no more make a servant of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up for them. Then fear not, O Jacob my servant, declares the Lord, nor be dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will save you from far away, and your offspring from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and have quiet and ease, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with you to save you, declares the Lord. I will make a full end of all the nations among whom I scattered you, but of you I will not make a full end. I will discipline you in just measure, and I will by no means leave you unpunished. For thus says the Lord, Your hurt is incurable, and your wound is grievous. There is none to uphold your cause, no medicine for your wound, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you, they care nothing for you. For I have dealt you the blow of an enemy, the punishment of a merciless foe, because your guilt is great, because your sins are flagrant. Why do you cry out over your hurt? Your pain is incurable. Because your guilt is great, because your sins are flagrant, I have done these things to you. Therefore all who devour you shall be devoured, and all your foes, every one of them, shall go into captivity. Those who plunder you shall be plundered, and all who prey on you I will make a prey. For I will restore health to you, and your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord, because they have called you an outcast. It is Zion for whom no one cares. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will restore the fortunes of the tents of Jacob, and have compassion on his dwellings. The city shall be rebuilt on its mound, and the palace shall stand where it used to be. Out of them shall come songs of thanksgiving, and the voices of those who celebrate. I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will make them honored, and they shall not be small. Their children shall be as they were of old, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all who oppress them. Their prince shall be one of themselves, their ruler shall come out from their midst. I will make him draw near, and he shall approach me, for who would dare of himself to approach me, declares the Lord. And you shall be my people, and I will be your God. Behold the storm of the Lord. Wrath has gone forth, a whirling tempest. It will burst upon the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of the Lord will not turn back until he has executed and accomplished the intentions of his mind. In the latter days you will understand this. Chapter 4 I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort, with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching. But having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, always be sober-minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Hello and welcome to Bible Time. Today, Jeremiah chapter 30. The Lord spoke to Jeremiah that Judah will be restored from captivity just as the Lord promised. The enemy that tortured the Israelite will be destroyed by God's judgment because God is God of justice. He will always punish evil. And also, He is a God of mercy in that He will restore His people. They shall be my people and He will be their God. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 through 8, Paul tells Timothy to preach the word of God and to be prepared to do so every season. 
Timothy was to rebuke and correct and encourage those he taught with careful instruction and with great patience. For there will be a time when the people will not listen to the truth. Paul said that his life is now near to the end and have fought a good fight and kept the faith. Therefore, righteous crown awaits him in heaven, not just for him, but for all those who kept the faith. It's a beautiful word that Paul speaks about, that he kept the faith, he fought a good fight. That means that he kept the faith throughout all seasons of life, all whatever happens to him, any persecution, any suffering, he continued to pursue after the faith in Jesus Christ. And I believe that that's what we all have to do. We must keep our faith no matter what happens to us because it is the truth and there will be a crown of life away for us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Help us to keep our faith no matter what happens to us, whether we suffer, persecuted, or the hard time. Help us to always trust that there is a reward in heaven that awaits for us, a crown of life. Lord, help us to keep running that race in Jesus' name. Amen.